Hi, this is a quick overview of the scheduled reload for data sets. As you know, today in data flows and sequences, you can create schedules. For data sets, you can only reload them manually. So traditionally, there's been a reload data option. You can click that. This is similar to what it's always been. But now when you do a reload, it will queue it for reload. Then a background process, like with data flows, will be running to refresh the data. You can also create a new schedule. It's the similar UI that you're used to. So you could say do hourly. We could start at 35 and let's do it for a couple of days repeat every four hours this is similar to the data flow UI let's look at what's changed on the inspect you have the existing things that you're used to but let's look under schedules you see there's a nightly and a the new one we just created so this schedule we'd already created before let's look at the history You'll notice now that is the data set has a history of when it's been reloaded. So let's inspect one of these. This was reloaded manually. Let's go back. This one was a scheduled reload. I happened to do those at the same time. Let's look at the status. And you'll see that each of the tables inside of the multi-table data set has been reloaded. And all we did was reload the data set. The other thing I'll show you here is we've added a log feature. If you want to see what was run, you can see the query and the connection that was used. Create a project. You can also access the same information from inspect. We can also reload the data here. That's the same as before.